Hey guys, it's Holly. Welcome back. So tonight I'm doing just a little video on why it is that I am kind of backing off of doing DoorDash right now. So I uploaded a video, I'd say maybe a couple of weeks ago, about kind of my own experience with DoorDash. And I did mention some of the pros and cons of, you know, what I thought I was what I thought was good about it and what I thought was not so good about DoorDash. So ultimately I have decided to back away from doing DoorDash. Um, I'm not going to quit doing it 100%, but I'm definitely backing off a lot to the point that I might only do one or two a week. If that, um, basically I'm only going to do it when I just have extra time and nothing else to do to fill that time. So I do like to stay busy. So um, if I have a period of time and I don't have anything to do, I got to find something to do. So anyways, um, so the number one reason that I am doing this is just simply because um, so many people do not tip with DoorDash. And so like I said before in my previous video on DoorDash, like I mean, it really depends on so many different factors. It depends on the area that you're in. It depends on quite a few different things. Um, but see, a lot of those things are just not within your control because you can't really control necessarily what kind of orders you're going to get, how far you're going to have to drive, how many miles you're putting on your vehicle um, for each particular delivery. You can't, you know, predict, okay, this order is going to be this much, so I'm going to get this much. Um, for that order, but tip wise, oh my gosh, um, I have calculated recently that over half of my deliveries have not, I have not been tipped at all, like literally not a penny, and I feel like that's completely unacceptable, and I don't feel that DoorDash should be allowing that, and so I just simply don't feel like we should... That a person should be expected to go deliver somebody else's food and do you know something for someone else taking time and energy out of their day away from their family to you know to do something for this person and then they literally don't even get a penny of a tip because the base pay is very very low and so i definitely don't have a lot of respect for doordash for having that set up with um with their independent contractors so I um, that's another thing I don't agree with the way that they do things so I do still use DoorDash service um, I'd say I probably use that once every week or two and it does definitely come in handy especially with me having two young children at home and being a single mom I definitely do like to utilize the service but it's definitely not I don't know it's just I feel like I don't want to support the company a whole lot, but I do feel the need to utilize the service. But I also feel the same way about Uber Eats and really about everything. I don't know a whole lot about Grubhub or Caviar. Um, I don't know enough to really speak on that to say much about those services. So I can just only speak for DoorDash for the most part right now and Uber Eats because I did do Uber Eats as well, but that was a few years back. So again, base pay very low, a lot of people not tipping, um, and just quite frankly, gas prices going up with everything that's going on in the world on global spectrum and um, not trying to be negative, but I think the gas prices will probably continue to rise um, for the foreseeable future at least. Um, and so I definitely, in preparation for that, if you're going to be using your own resources for your business, you definitely have to weigh the opportunity cost. So um, that is another big reason for me why I'm backing off of this. So another thing is just dasher saturation. And basically the term dasher saturation just basically means that there are too many dashers out there. And even out where I'm at, even kind of like in a rural, suburban, rural area, um, there are so many dashers out there and it's really hard to get a slot even on the weekend. And so I can't really schedule my slots because 
uh, with my family and everything, I just don't really have the opportunity and the time to do that. So therefore, I kind of just have to hit the dash button whenever it's available on demand. So um, that's just the way I do it. But unfortunately, a lot of times there just isn't any dashing available because there are so many other people out there. And the reason for that is because most people just aren't making enough money to cover their bills with inflation and all these other things going on in the world. And so people are having to side hustle. And, um, and that's why so many people are doing DoorDash right now. And so between the gas prices, the dasher saturation, and people not tipping, um, yeah, I'm just so over it. And the issue with people not tipping as well, I feel like that's probably going to get worse as, you know, same as the gas prices going up because people, quite frankly, aren't going to have as much money. And I feel like people already don't have extra money. They can't even tip a dime. And, you know, it's like, so what makes you think they're going to tip? What makes me think that they're going to tip more um, or anything at all? You know, what makes me think I'll get any tips? So, um yeah, and that's not me being negative. This is just my personal experience. So I do know other people that have had better experiences, but from where I stand, it just hasn't been worth it. And the thing is, you know, if you want to go to a different area to do your dashing, like a nicer area or whatever, higher income, etc., you know, it's like you have to calculate, okay, how long is it going to take me to get there? How much of my time is this going to take? Um, how long is it going to take me to get back? How much gas? How many miles? So let's say you have a higher end area that's, you know, could be 20 minutes away. And let's say you drive 20 minutes there and 20 minutes back. Well, that's an extra 40 minutes, you know, out of your day and time wise. And it's just kind of one of those things you really have to just think about it. So anyways, weighing the opportunity cost. That's a term I like to use a lot that I learned at a very young age. So, um, yeah, that's really about it. Unfortunately, I do, like I said before, I will continue to do a little bit here and there, um, but it's going to be very minimal for me from here on out. And so, anyways, um, I do know some other people have been dealing with this as well with DoorDash. So, but yeah, I just feel like, you know, it's like I will deliver food to so many like really, really nice homes, literally like mansions sometimes. And these people will not tip me anything at all and I don't understand I think that anyone that's in the service industry um, deserves to be treated with respect and dignity and so I just don't feel that in my opinion that it's okay to have somebody do this work for you and just not give them anything um, because you know I think maybe some people may not be aware that the base pay for DoorDash is very low so if you are delivering, like for me, let's say I'm delivering a meal that cost, um, let's just say $15, the base pay for that may only be 2 or $3. And so if I don't get a tip, that's all I'm getting, and it could take up to 30 minutes of my time. So obviously that's not worth it. So at this point, it's just not worth it for me. But anyways, with that being said, um, I will see you guys in the next video, and I look forward to that. So good night.